meaningful access to the resources they need to thrive. <coughs> My testimony today will focus on the need to begin decreasing DC's reliance on the rapid housing program for homeless families by shifting proposed funding, funding increases to more successful housing interventions such as the targeted affordable housing program. As you know, rapid housing is currently the district's answer to the family homelessness crisis. Except for Washington, no state is more reliant on the rapid rehousing model than the district. There are currently over 1,300 families in DC's rapid rehousing program, representing approximately 4,000 people, including over 2,300 children. On May 1st, the Legal Clinic released a report on DC's rapid rehousing program that has been set up to fail. The report concludes that homeless families in DC's rapid rehousing program struggle with poor housing conditions, are severely rent burdened, often are sued for eviction while they are still in the program. Then, families' assistance is routinely terminated based on an arbitrary timeline, despite the fact that the average income of participants is far less than the average rent. It is mathematically impossible for these families to sustain their housing post-termination. Among DC's low-income families with children, this real-world rapid rehousing clip is just as damaging as the impending panic clip that has justifiably received a lot of attention in recent years. Hundreds of families have already fallen off of this rapid housing plan. The district cannot continue operating under the illusion that rapid housing is working for homeless families. It is time for DC policymakers to decide whether to continue investing in a broken program or start moving forward towards a homeless services system that actually ends family homelessness. And I would just like to note that I know that there are a lot of caring people, a lot of dedicated people who are trying to make this program work for families. And I know that the kind of this kind of criticism is very hard to take. But without this kind of frank public discussion of what is not working and why, things are never going to get better. Um, that is why uh, Council Member Dado, the Legal Clinic, and four other legal services organizations have signed on the le onto the letter to you, um, asking that the mayor's proposed increase in rapid housing be redirected to long-term housing vouchers through the Targeted Affordable Housing Program, also known as DAH. In addition, those legal services organizations are asking for your support for a moratorium on time limit determinations until the council is able to weigh in on this practice. Indeed, when Director Dimeyer first started the DHS, there was a temporary halt on such terminations, or in the words of the agency back in February 2016, it has not been the practice to exit families from rapid rehousing, otherwise it would end up back in the homelessness system, which would be more costly. Along, for the, along the threat of the city, from its law center, DC Law Students in Court, and the Legal Aid Society of the District of Columbia, the Legal Clinic is calling for a return to DHS policies circa February 2016 in order to spare further trauma to families in this program until the council can address this issue. The letter is attached to my testimony. Um, it should be noted that in order to accomplish this shift away from rapid rehousing, there's going to be a need to streamline the referral process for DAH. Um, there are a number of things that could do this, but for instance, DHS could uh, just send a list of names over to the DC Housing Authority, and that agency could handle the application process on its own. That's how most of the uh, voucher set aside uh, programs work for the DC Housing Authority. Uh, in addition, the legal kind of fully supports the budget request for the Way Home Campaign and the Fair Budget Coalition to end chronic and family homelessness. In particular, the mayor's budget leaves a uh, $13.6 million gap in funding needed to get the district on track to end chronic homelessness and a $21.6 million gap in funding needed to get back on track to ending family homelessness. While the funding for some of these programs is not in the Committee on Human Services, the legal clinic would ask that you work with your colleagues on the Committee on Housing and Neighborhood Revitalization to find uh, money for these critical housing programs. The legal clinic is also very concerned that the mayor's budget proposed to move closest to move money away from the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, or ERAP, towards the Homeless Prevention Program. ERAP is highly effective at preventing homelessness, but it runs out of money every year, and getting appointments can be very challenging for uh, folks trying to seek assistance. As a result, by the time tenants are able to obtain assistance, they are already far along in the court process, and the cost of stopping an eviction has increased. While we would certainly, import, it, it, while we would certainly support increased funding for the Homeless Prevention Program, we see no reason why that increase should be tied to the decrease in ERAP funding. Finally, the legal clinic supports stopping the schedule of tax cuts for estates and businesses, and instead directing those funds to programs that end homelessness. These tax cuts represent a choice between more money in the pockets of wealthy DC residents and affordable housing for DC families in crisis. And to briefly conclude, um, I know that I'm about to go over time. Um, DC's civil legal services community knows that rapid rehousing is not working, as they represent family after family in eviction court. DC landlords know that this program is not working, as many refuse to accept the subsidies because they know the support is insufficient and timely. Case managers for the program know that rapid rehousing is not working, as 
to request extensions or transfers from the families that they work with, and those requests are routinely denied by program administrators. Most importantly, families in the program and in shelter know that rapid rehousing is not working. With the release of Set Up to Fail, I would hope that policymakers now know that this program is not working with DHS's own data demonstrating that rapid rehousing is a flawed model for the district. Thank you. <coughs> Good morning.